Are you tired of struggling to find the motivation to hit the gym? We've all been there. Staying motivated in the gym can be a real challenge, but with the right strategies and mindset, you can keep that fire burning and reach your fitness goals faster than ever before. In this video, we'll explore 10 proven steps to help you stay motivated in the gym and keep your fitness journey on track. So let's dive right in. Hello YouTubers, welcome back to the official Handsome Jersey Devil channel, where we focus on overall health, personal development and coaching, and product reviews of high quality goods, with an emphasis on mental health. My name is Walter Iniguez and I am the owner of the brand and the host of this channel. So let's get right into the steps. Step number one is setting SMART goals. One of the most effective ways to stay motivated in the gym is to set specific, measurable, achievable, relevant, and time-based goals, SMART goals. Having clear objectives gives you a sense of purpose and direction, making it easier to stay focused on your workouts. Step number two, find your why. Discovering your why can be a powerful motivator. Ask yourself why you want to get fit and write them down. Write down your reasons, whether it's improving your health, boosting your confidence, or setting an example for others. Knowing your why will be fuel determination. Create a workout plan. Having a structured workout plan can help you stay on track and prevent aimless wandering in the gym. Consult with a, a personal trainer or professional to design a program tailored to your goals and preference. Four, mix it up. Monotony can be a motivation killer. Spice up your workout by trying different exercise classes or sports. Variety not only keeps, inter keeps things interesting, but also challenges your body in new ways. Five, Find a workout friend. Training with a friend can be incredible motivating. You can push each other, share experience, and hold each other accountable. Plus, it makes the gym feel less intimidating. Six, use music to pump you up. A killer workout playlist can turn your gym session into a high energy experience. Create a playlist with your favorite songs that get you in the zone and ready to crush your workout. Seven, reward yourself. Set up a reward system for reaching your fitness milestones. Treat yourself to something you love, whether it's a cheat meal, a spa day, a new workout gear. Rewards can provide that extra motivation boost. Eight, track your progress. Documenting your progress can be highly motivating. Take photos, keep a workout journal, or use fitness apps to you see how far you've come. Seeing improvement will encourage you to keep going. Nine, positive self-talk. Maintain a positive mindset by practicing self-affirmation and avoiding negative self-talk. Believe in yourselves and your ability and remind yourself that every workout is a step towards your goals. 10. Stay informed and inspired. Read fitness blogs, watch YouTube videos, follow fitness influencers if you have to on social media. Surrounding yourself with the fitness related content can keep you inspired and motivated. Hello YouTubers, uh, I just finished my workout and I wanted to include this clip uh, into my traditional format and that is something that I will be doing uh, going forward. Um, just adding my personal take or my personal experience into these videos. I do believe that it's important that I share the informative uh, content, but I think that it's also, uh, there is value in adding my experience. Now you can skip through this and go straight to the uh, video, uh, to the traditional format. And please keep in mind that I do have the information on my blog on the peterclubarverspa.com uh, or on the description. So if you just wanna get the bare bones information, you're more than free to just skip through this or go get the information through the description or the blog post or enjoy this experience. So today I just finished coming out of my uh, workout and what I personally like to do is, uh, sorry that today is not really all that uh, sunny, but uh, what I traditionally like to do is go and work out in the morning. And one of the reasons I do that, and I think I shared this in one of the other videos, is because uh, I'm in the service industry, naturally, uh, by nature, I like to serve others. And one of the things that I uh, initiated in my lifestyle was working out in the morning because 
uh, I want to take care of myself physically, mentally, emotionally uh, first thing before I take care of anybody else. And that is uh, very important and it has uh, benefited me greatly, uh, not only through because of the traffic in the gym or parking and all that other stuff, but just because uh, it, it really allows me to take care of myself first, first and foremost. Uh, other thing I like to do is I recently during the pandemic uh, switched gym memberships to something that's a little bit uh, closer just because uh, uh, it allowed me to walk to the gym and one of the things that I started doing was meditating or uh, concentrating uh, or thinking, getting in my thoughts uh, during that walk and it allowed me to either think about the workout, it allowed me to think about what plans I have for the day and it just kept me in a very motivated uh, yet calm mood. And uh, once I got to the gym, I did I do 15 minute cardio, and that allows me to get amped up for the actual workout. Once I do the workout, I hit my goals, uh, and then I'm pretty much done, and that's that takes care of the rest of the day, and sets the tone for the rest of the day. Uh, on my walk back, I typically like to, again, think about any problems that are going on, or any issues that I need to resolve, or. Uh, any areas that I can improve on, and that's about it. Come on, go home, get ready, uh, and then get going with my day. Therapy is something else that I also want to be, uh, I, I want to bring up because if you're finding yourself switching music, environment, groups, uh, whatever, and you still can't figure out what's uh, bogging you down, therapy is another option. I do it, uh, I naturally like to problem solve. And whenever I feel stuck, I know that I can look to therapy to figure out new ways to tackle a problem or a situation or a mood, and uh, it definitely helps. So something to consider as well. I also don't work out uh, necessarily necessarily to physically look good or because I'm competing. I do it only for my mental health. All these other areas, whether I develop muscle, hit my uh, PRs, that's just an add-on. Those are extras, but realistically, I do it mostly for my mental health and just to get going for the day. Um, and it's something that I enjoy. Uh, but you take and uh, this information, how you see fit and include it into your daily routine. Keep in mind, this is not only for the gym as well. This is something you can include for your uh daily life. So back to the traditional format. Take care. In conclusion, staying motivated in the gym is a journey in itself. But with these 10 proven steps, you can keep your enthusiasm high and reach your fitness goals. I hope this was helpful. I hope this resonates with you. Uh, pick whatever you can out of this if you've already implemented some of these strategies. Uh, please like, subscribe, and share so that we can build a community of like-minded individuals and help one another. Till next time, have a healthy day.